The GH5 has several different options for whether or not you're going to use an electronic shutter or a mechanical shutter. To access these controls, we go into the camera's menu. We want to be on the top tab, the camera tab. We want to be on page four of five for shutter type. The top option is auto. So what auto will do is that it will automatically switch between the electronic shutter or the mechanical shutter, depending on your needs. For example, the mechanical shutter in the camera can only go to an 8,000th of a second. When you're in auto, that means when I go above an 8,000th, it'll automatically switch to the electronic shutter. Mechanical shutter mode, that's going to be strictly mechanical shutter. It will deliver the best possible photo quality, but it limits you to an 8,000th of a second exposure. Electronic first curtain, what this does is that there are some times where people are worried that they might get a little bit of shock from the camera's shutter mechanism when the first curtain that starts the exposure drops into place. What this mode does is it gives us an electronic first curtain and then it ends the exposure with a mechanical shutter, giving you a nice sharp picture with a little bit of shutter lag. And the biggest drawback is you can only go to a 2,000th of a second exposure. The last option is electronic shutter. The benefit to electronic shutter is that you can go all the way up to a 16,000th of a second and it's a much quieter sounding shutter. The drawback to it is that it doesn't play well with certain kind of lights where you can get a lot of banding in the picture and it has a tendency to be a little softer image. Panasonic.